In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, good people of God, and welcome. Today is Monday, the 20th of September, 2021. It is Monday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time, Church Year B. You are listening to Catholic Meditation. I am Father Blessed. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Ezra, chapter 1, verses 1 to 6. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 126. The response to the psalm is, What great deeds the Lord has worked for us. The Gospel is taken from St. Luke, chapter 8, verses 16 to 18. I read from the Gospel. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, No one, after lighting a lamp, covers it with a vessel or puts it under a bed, but puts it on a stand that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is hidden that shall not be made manifest, nor anything secret that shall not be known and come to light. Take heed then how you hear. For to him who has will more be given, and from him who has not, even what he thinks that he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is Shine out in your goodness, but do not show off. Shine out in your goodness, but do not show off. No one lights a lamp to cover it with a vessel or to put it under a bed. They put it on a stand so that those who enter may see the light. God's dearest people, these are the opening words of today's gospel passage and they are the words of Jesus. He was addressing himself to the crowds. Let us begin by asking, what is the purpose of lighting a lamp in the first place? It is to provide light so that darkness is dispelled and vision is enhanced. The moment you walk into a dark room, almost immediately you look for the switch and you turn on the light. Why? So that darkness is dispelled and vision is enhanced. If the reason is to enhance vision, then logically, the lighted lamp has to be placed at a position to fulfill this reason. That explains why all our lamps and bulbs are found at the ceiling top. It will be stupid then and out of place to light a lamp and then hide it. The better position will be to place it on a stand and not to cover it with a vessel or to place it under a bed. The purpose for lighting it is defeated if it is hidden under the bed. The lighted lamp Jesus is talking about here refers to our good character and good deeds. We are expected, dear friends, to shine out. So a Christian who is timid is a lighted lamp that is buried. Your good deeds must shine out. So why shy away from being good and from doing good? 
a good character ought to be a lighted lamp for others to see so that they can follow our lead. There are many Christians and pagan alike who have bad morals. Let your good morals attract them that they too can find God. But if you shy away from doing good and from being good, then the very essence of being good is defeated. There are many unbelievers. Let your Christian witnessing be like a lighted lamp to make them find God. So a timid Christian is a lighted lamp hidden under a bed. If you shy away or if you fear doing good or from being good, then dear friend, you are a lighted lamp that is buried. There are many in your same profession, many in your vocation, or many in your line of business who are below standard. Can your lighted lamp lead them to a higher level of commitment? This lamp was lighted on the day of our baptism when the priest entrusted to us that lighted candle and said, Receive the light of Christ. May we keep this light burning brightly until Christ returns. This was the challenge we were given, to keep the light burning brightly. That we are called to be the light to stand up high for others to see and emulate, that our character and good deeds should be on a stand does not mean we should be boastful. We should make the distinction between showing off and being an example. We may mix up the two, confusing one for the other. Sometimes, albeit with a good intention to be a shining example, we may portray a showing off attitude, being boastful and showing off like we are the best and others are nothing. Then, rather than being the light, you are rather showing off and this is wrong. Jesus says we should be a shining example. He did not say we should show off. Now, how do we make the difference? How do you shine your light without coming across as showing off. To be a light for others to see is to be a shining example. This means your good deeds become so visible and glaring. And most times, it is best done in such an eloquent, silent fashion. Silently, but eloquently, your good character becomes permeating and contagious. Often, in this case, silently yet doing your good deeds, others see it and are attracted positively. This means you do not talk about yourself. You are not boastful. You are not showing off or being proud. But quietly, silently yet eloquently being good, others are attracted by your goodness. Showing off, on the other hand, means you want everybody to see you and to notice you. Yes, you may be doing something good, but that moment you add a little dose of pride into it, you destroy it. Remember, whatever we are able to do well is thanks to God. Therefore, always point back to Him. The devil is always very sneaky. He gives you a little dose of pride. And that moment you are boastful and you want to show off, then you destroy every good deed you do. In that case, rather than being the light, you show off, you are boastful, and I tell you, sooner than later, you destroy every good deed that you do. When you show off, you talk more about yourself and poke your nose in every circumstance. Again, remember, you may be doing good, but you destroy it when you show off and when you are boastful. This is the difference. Light does not say, I am light. No. We see it. We feel it. And we can make out the difference. 
its presence or effect leaves no one indifferent. The observers are those to make the judgment. So dear friend, be good. Do good. Let your light shine. But be careful. Do not be boastful and do not show off. However, be reminded, there are many and there may be some who will choose to be blind and refuse to see the difference or choose to take it for the fact that you are claiming or perhaps you want to show off. Definitely, the devil's advocates will always be. But goodness is goodness and remains goodness and many more will see it over the few who choose not to see. Even Jesus had his critics who sabotaged his goodness. But he did not give up. He kept on silently yet eloquently doing good. Remember, many that he cured, he told them to be silent. Yet the effect had already been felt. He did many good things and was never stopped by those who criticized him. And his goodness was seen and the effect was realized because he was never boastful and neither did he show off. Let us pray therefore for that grace that we may remain good in your field of work, in your office, in your family, wherever you find yourself, silently yet eloquently let your light shine. Be careful. Do not let the devil give you a little dose of pride, lest you show off and you are boastful and you destroy every good deed that you do. Oh dear Lord, for the grace to be humble, to realize that even our goodness is thanks to you, for the grace to be humble, not to show off or to be boastful, but to permeate our every environment and those around us with the light that shines from us, we beg of you for that grace. And also always to remember that all we are and can do is thanks to your grace. O oh dear Lord, free us from the temptation of being boastful. Free us from the temptation of being proud, but that our light may shine to dispel the darkness of our world and to invite others to you. Amen. We apologize for our lack of music for some technical reasons. We could not have our usual jingle and interlude song. Please do forgive us. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. We wish each and every one of you a blessed new week. Remember, shine out in your good deeds, but do not show off. Amen.